Oss, my name is T. I am a Tonfa practitioner. In this video, I would like to show you some realistic and practical Tonfa techniques which you can use in actual combat situations. I film these videos during Tonfa training sessions with my friend Werem, the karate expert. When we train Tonfa, we simulate the confrontational situation as real as possible. I firmly believe that Tonfa is the most realistic and practical karate traditional weapon you can actually use in the 21st century's modern society. I hope you can get some glimpse of my concept about Tonfa in this video. Us. Let's say you are a policeman or a law enforcement officer or just an innocent citizen who happened to live in dangerous area. A violent individual come to attack you with a club, baseball bat, hammer or a similar type of blank object. In those situations, Tonfa can be super handy. Tonfa works really well for defense. You see, all your fingers, hands, wrist, forearm, and elbow are hidden behind of Tonfa blade. So that when you block the attack, those parts are protected. Let's compare to the stick. You see, all your fingers and hands are exposed. You block like this, you get hit like that. In this case, your fingers and hands are damaged. Tonfa works really well for disarming his weapon. You can hit his wrist like this, like that, and like that. You can wrap around his weapon like this. You can hook his weapon like this and rip it off. And like that. You know, the Tonfa, this T shaped compact weapon, which can fit into your shoulder back or hang at your waist belt can do a magic. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, before that, here is the training chips. It's recommended to work with somebody who has got solid kendo background. So that you can conduct well-controlled training session. And it's also safe. Therefore, I play the bad guy most of the time in this video because I have got more than 10 years of kendo experience. And my friend, Werem, plays a tonfa guy. Okay, now let's have a look. Werem is holding a single tonfa in his left hand and keeping his right hand free. When you have a single tonfa, Hold it in your front hand and use it as a shield. And use your free hand as a dagger or spear. Block, lap, and attack. Once 
where I manage to wrap my weapon. I am completely vulnerable because both of my hands are occupied, busy to hold on to my weapon. So, any attacks he launches will land on me. Now, block the attack from the across side. Once he blocks my attack, he grabs hold of my weapon with his free hand. Then, slip the tonfa to the other side and use it as a fulcrum. Then, rip my weapon off by applying the principle of lever. Now, let's do light sparring. We are not wearing any protective gears, so we don't go crazy. Keep it like 30 to 40 percent. This time, Verem is just blocking my attack. Move around and just block the attack. Try to develop the reflex. Here is a training tip. As the attacker, I am using a short stick. It makes it easier for him to defend. The shorter the weapon, the easier to defend. So, if you are a beginner, start off with a short stick. And as you get better, start using a long stick. Okay, this time, Verem disarms my weapon. Once he seizes the opportunity, and here is a training tip. As the attacker, I have to give some chances to the Tonfa guy, Verem, to practice the techniques. I deliberately give him some chances, but I don't make it too obvious. Here, Verem is practicing Tonfa attacks. I am using a short stick to block them. Those pair up training is very important. You can learn the essential elements of fight, like distance and angle management. Start off slowly and gradually gear up the speed and intensity. Now, 
ワン、ツー、スリー、アタック。ノーティス、アイアムプッシングヒムアウェイ、ウィズマイショートスティック。ワンス、ヒフィニッシュス、ディアタック。アズアトンファガイ、ザ・モーメント、ヒハズダンウィズディアタック。ヒマスト、リトリートバック、イントゥザ・セーフ・ディスタンス。Here is the basic Kirikaeshi training. Kirikaeshi is the Japanese martial arts terminology, meaning defense and attack in turns. Here, I am throwing diagonal cut from right top to left bottom, which is the most common attack by far. If you give an average guy a stick, then tell him to attack you. More than 90% of them will attack you in this way. Verem blocks and immediately retaliates. Start off slowly, then gradually gear up the speed and intensity. Verem is practicing lap the weapon. I am using a bokken this time, which is longer weapon than a short stick. Notice Verem is using the footwork to circle away from the bokken as he blocks it. By circling away, He can reduce the impact of the attack. And of course, once he wraps my weapon, anything works. Verem is holding a tonfa in his free hand, and both of my hands are occupied to hold on to my bokken. So, From this position, any attacks he t h r o w will land on me. This lap the weapon is the vital tonfa technique. Drill it as many as you can. Here we are practicing the conditional sparring. We are not wearing any protective gears, so we limit what we are allowed to do. We move around freely, but I can only attack from right side or do. Central thrust and Verem does only Kirikaishi defense first, then attack. Yes, yes. Verem is doing solo drill outside spin with the right, block with the left. Yeah, fast. Out. Now it's pair up work. 
アウトサイドスピンウィズザライトブロックウィズザレフト This is 切り返し or attack and defense in turns 切り返し is essential for traditional weapons training Do lots of 切り返し to learn distance and angle Putting numbers in drills is vital to make tonfa the part of your body. Now, outside spin with the right and block with the right. Verem is using same hand for both attack and defense. So, as soon as he finishes the attack, he has to bring the tonfa back. To the original position. It requires very good tonfa handling skill. This time, inside the spin with the right, block with the left. Some good, good. Okay, I top. Good. Good, good. Top down. Now, kirikaishi training for this combination. Start off slowly and gently, and gradually increase the speed and intensity. Solo drill for inside spin with the right, block with the right. Yes. Yes, yes. Good, good. Right. Top down. Now, vertical spin with the right and block with the right. Okay, good, good. Exit. Okay, now let's combine Kirikaishi and wrap the weapon. Then disarm. After wrapping my stick, Verem is hitting the root of the stick for safety reason. But in real situation, he can hit my wrist to disarm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Tonka, vertical spin, solo dory. Now, Tonka, vertical spin with a partner. Distance management is very important. Don't stay too close. This is Kirikaeshi Dori. Willem throws Tonfa vertical spin attack. After my blocking, I immediately retaliate with a diagonal cut. Then he blocks it with a Jordan Uke. This is another variation. I retaliate with the thrust. He defends it with Gedan Balai. Let's add another layer in Kirikaeshi. Verem retaliates with Tonfa horizontal swing. Then I duck myself to defend it. Kirikaeshi is a type of Yakusoku Kumite or pre arranged Kumite. By doing Kirikaeshi, you can develop the sense of distance, angle, and exchanging attack and defense with Tonfa. Make up lots of variations to get accustomed to Tonfa fighting. The solo drill to switch regular grip to axe grip. Practice till you can do it smoothly and swiftly. Axe grip is very useful to rip off the attacker's weapon. Block the attack, bring his weapon to the fort, then hook it with the axe grip, slide it down to his wrist, then rip his weapon off.
Now, against thrust. Parry the thrust. Catch his weapon with axe grip to bring his weapon into the hold. Then, smack his wrist with other tonfa. Here is the footage of our Tonfa against Bokken sparring. Here, Verem is holding a single Tonfa. And I am attacking him with a Bokken. Notice, Verem is holding the Tonfa in his front hand and using it as a shield. As he closes the distance, he traps my bokken. Sometimes he advances as he inactivates my bokken by pressing it with his tongue. He is doing really well. We are not wearing any protective gears, so keeping it gentle and controlled.
From this round forward, Wellem is holding double tonfas in his both hand. The most important thing for those sparring is defense. As you are a tonfa guy, once you block the pokken attack, then close the distance. Any attack you throw gonna work. Develop the reflex. That's the key. Do a lot of sparring with egoless manner.
Hello, Steven. Eh? 